Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope that all fine. Welcome back to my channel, Devashree's Passion. I hope you guys remember that I had started my own story series, The Missing Brooch. We had stopped at Chapter 5, Investigation. Today we are seeing Chapter 6. Chapter 6 name is The Magic Hole. In the previous chapter, we had seen how the kids investigated their search at the zoo and then went back home lost in thought. In this chapter, we are seeing the continuing part of the previous chapter. So, let us start chapter 6, the magic hole, uh, without wasting a moment now. As the kids and the grown-ups reached their hotel, they were not lost in thought as they knew that it would be solved. It would be solved by the kids themselves. Rina was still not lost in thought too because she knew where the thief might be hiding now because the, as they had seen the thief, the thief might have also spotted them and heard each and every of their conversation too, hiding behind the animals in the zoo. So he might have located them and come to their hotel. But Rina was not sure about this thing. She thought, but why would the thief want to climb the hotel? Wouldn't the guards notice it? Anyway, never mind. Then all the kids sat down to play video games after washing and changing themselves. Then, wow, halfway through the game a miracle happened. Rina turned around and what she saw? She quickly called up the others and then the others turned around. <gasps> they could easily, easily see a giant hole appearing in the ground. Thankfully, no adult was near. They had gone shopping, leaving the kids alone. So the kids were there alone in the home. But they were so curious, not able to contain their curiosity. All except Rahul. Okay. Because he was not curious as the other girls. He hid himself under the sofa saying, I don't want to go on an adventure. I am afraid. But Pearl insisted. As if to say, come on Rahul, you are brave. And they slid down the hole. Kept falling, falling, falling until instantly they stopped. Phew, that was a nice fall. Wow, it's so cold in there. Rina trembled. It was so cold. Purr gave an uncomfortable meow. So, Rina wrapped her dupatta on, on Purr. Wow, it was so warm here now after putting on their sweaters. But Pearl couldn't understand one thing. Though she was a cat, why did she slide down first and why not the others? Never mind. Then they saw a door. Rahul gave Pearl a bottle of milk to drink. Pearl gulped it down and instantly burped. Just after Pearl's birthing, do you know what happened? The same door that they had been in front of slid open. Look! It slid open so fast that all of them jumped and thought, when someone burps, does the door open up? Anyway, they walked in through the door and just as they walked in through the door, a shower of gems, jewels, flowers, 
fragrance and sweet smelling fruits fell upon them there was a rain of beauty all around trees full of flowers laden with sweet fruits lemon grass as fresh and dew resting on every grass and grass leaf like a pearl in the middle of a necklace everyone quickly collected whatever they wanted pearls jewels gems flowers rahul got the most amount of flowers reena got the least amount of jewels neeta got the most amount of jewels tripti got the least amount of flowers pearl got nothing but she was so excited that she did not even notice how much her master rahul had got they moved on and admired the world so beautiful thankfully there were no animals but birds over their head there were plenty of them to watch so here chapter 6 the magical hole ends we are seeing chapter 7 the next time we meet guys if you like my story series the missing brooch don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel devashree's passion Also tap at the bell icon for further notifications about my channel. The links to my other stories and the story series of my other Mystery of the Castle is given in the description box. Bye guys, see you later.